Compare your first tire with the cars that you're now sending over to emerging countries. I think Michelin has a tradition of, uh, of being very close to the different markets. So we study the needs of the specific markets in Africa, in South America, in Asia, in Europe, in North America, and try to uh, adapt product to the very usage. And we have just launched a, a new XM2 brand uh, um, product portfolio, uh, particularly for, uh, for, uh, for China, for Russia, South America, well suited to the needs of this country, where road hazard are very often punctured, things like that, abused are very often nowadays, it will change in the future, and we adjust the product to the need. Same for truck. Maybe j just one point. Of course, we have to adapt to usages, but there is one key point at Michelin. So wherever a Michelin branded tire is made, it has the best level of quality. There is no difference. You can have a Michelin tire made in Asia, China, in Brazil, in France, in Germany, everywhere we have the same standard of quality. A Michelin tire is always a Michelin tire. I wanted to highlight that. I was surprised to uh, hear that you were working on fuel cells as well. Could you give us some indications what you are actually doing there? Is to say that if we want to be a core player of, of, of our industry, we need to be involved into chassis engines, not to compete with our customers for sure, but to have a relationship with them that allows us to bring to them more adapted solutions. And that's also why we invest research in this activity. Jean Dominique Senai, you're the new director, the new C CEO. Future new, yes. Yes. And Michel, when he started, he had um, he ha he had to have personal liability. He couldn't quit. These are all different things than a CEO in America. Yeah, I know. You're right. It's a special it's a special uh, legal structure, which, by the way, is close to the U.S. partnership uh, structure. It's not that different. Very minimum. Uh, if I, if I had to mention something, is that the governance of Michelin today, as it is after the, what the General Assembly has decided, is probably one of the models uh, of governance that people would like to follow. Because if you look into the details, the clear separation between the, the, the managing of the company and the control of the company is absolutely perfect and probably the model of that type.